Hi, I'm Nicholas Woolwork, globally published author of Investing in International Real Estate for Dummies. Check it out on Amazon. Loads of good free advice in that book um, for a very fair price, I must admit. Um, save you going on a £20,000 course. Um, speaking of courses, we've got some new courses being launched um, under Nicholas Woolwork brand. Going to be very exciting to see those coming soon. So um, look in the description. They may already be released if you're watching this video in a couple of months' time. Um, if you're watching it today live, it's going to be um, you know, in the, in the description. So go and look that up. Um, some very, very cost-effective courses to get you on the ladder um, before you kind of start working with me on mentorship or other options. Um, I'm here today to talk about asbestos. Um, it's not a particularly glamorous subject, I must admit, but it's hidden in all sorts of places. So let's go through the care home and uh, that we've just bought. This is the 14,500 square foot care home that we have bought under Redbricks, our own development. We are hopefully converting it into a series of uh, cluster flats to use um, from a, you know, a rental perspective. Um, and we've got a few issues. No, we haven't got, that's the word, wrong word, issues. We've got a few questions which have, which have been answered on asbestos. Now, one of the fears of coming to this building, you know, I absolutely hate Artex ceilings. Um, I talked about these in a previous video briefly, but Artex ceilings are a little bit dated. We've got to work with them because they're in every single room, everywhere in the entire care home. And to get rid of that, to either sand it, scrape it back and do it, or skim it, plaster it, a replaster. We've got all these nice covings in place. The, the work and the cost would be crazy. So obviously we don't want to waste that sort of money. So we're going to work with the Artex ceilings and keep those in, get the place freshened up with a nice lick of paint. Wish you could have smell of armor on the camera because lovely smell of fresh paint throughout the building. Um, got you know team of painters ripping through this building and getting everything sanded, painted. We've got a lot of prep work everywhere. You can't really see it on this wall, but swinging around, you know, you've got loads of prep work going on. You can pick these up on the walls getting the walls nice and smooth, um, looking up tip-top condition for our new uh, tenants moving in as guardians temporarily whilst we wait for the planning. Um, but our tech ceilings can contain asbestos. So that's the point I'm trying to make. If those contained asbestos, you can add a six-figure sum to the cost of this refurbishment because it would be absolutely mental to get rid of that um, and dangerous and you need specialist teams. You know, with asbestos, you know, if you find it, do not touch it. There are various different types of asbestos as well, different grades. Um, I don't know those specifically, but I'm just trying to introduce you to this topic. If you go and buy a bigger building, um, any building in fact, ask for an asbestos report. Often that's done by the vendor. It's, it's something that is often required in commercial buildings in particular to be provided on the sale. If you don't have it, get one done before you exchange, because something like that could be a good negotiation point to go, go back to the seller and say, look, there's a hundred grand on asbestos here, guys, uh, that we weren't aware of can we do something on the price? You know, I don't advocate price chipping. Um, I've actually never done it. I've never, had, never found a reason serious enough to do it. But if you found something serious enough, you either have to pull out um, if it's not viable anymore, or you have to go back to the vendor and see if the deal can still be done. So you know, you've got to do that in the right way, and it's got to be fair if you're going to have those kind of conversations. But it can be hidden in all sorts of places. You know, it can be hidden in doors. A lot of the doors in here, it's probably easy. I don't know if I can zoom you guys in. There's really light in here, not really. If I can zoom you into this door frame, insides of doors can contain asbestos. If you can see that sort of, that sort of material there. These doors are filled back in the day. If these are 20, you know, 15, 20 years old, it's a good chance that was asbestos. And the good news is I'm not gambling with my life, sticking my finger in there. We've had an asbestos report. We've had a good chunk of doors tested. We've had Artex tested all over the place no asbestos found in this building whatsoever. So thank goodness for that. What a result, ka -ching. That was, you know, a big moment when we got those results. Very scary um, because there's a huge amount, of, huge amount of it in every single room. Um, so that's really it on, on, on asbestos. It's just kind of looking out for it. Um, if you find something that looks suspicious, get someone in that's an expert as a survey, get it checked out before you go further um, and you know your site will be safe for you and your staff. Um, Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's got that on your radar. If you're buying bigger buildings, make sure you get a survey done before exchange um, and make sure you look after your team whilst you're doing it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, follow the journey of this conversion. I hope to see you on another video very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.